Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, another shop my stash. We're going to go through the products I used last week and what I thought of them. We'll be picking new products to use this week. So if you love shop my stash videos, definitely continue watching. How was your week, you guys? It was pretty good. I went by fast. I do have a four-day weekend from a work, so that's awesome. Look at my now. I just was rearranging my drawers. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> And my drawer fell out and I tried to catch it and it lifted my nail so it was only like attached from over here so I just popped it off. I'm going to redo my nails tomorrow so they're really grown out. Anyways, <laughs> if you love Shop My Stash videos, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe. <laughs> I was trying to hide my thumb but there's no way to do three without my thumb. Definitely subscribe <laughs> so you don't miss out. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. So the first product I had from last week was this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I really like it. I think it does a super good job to lock in my makeup. I do notice if I don't super uh, shake it up before I apply it, I do have spots and it does remove some of my makeup. So definitely recommend you really shaking, shaking it up before you apply it. Definitely like that. Uh, the foundation that I used this week was this Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Undetectable Super Long Wear Foundation. <laughs> I have mine in the shade Vanilla. So I have the original Born This Way foundation and that one's way too hydrating on me. I looked very dewy midday, did not like it. I still have it in my collection, haven't decluttered it, but I don't like it. So I decided to give this one a try. And I like this one way more than the original because this one does uh, not make me oily as soon as the original one does. But I did find that using like a matte or gripping primer, like the Milk Makeup that I pulled in for this week, I made this stay on on my skin because I would find since I'm wearing masks like it kind of comes off obviously and the masks are gonna make your makeup come off as well but I did notice a difference when I was using the Milk Makeup Gripping Primer compared to the Marc Jacobs I think it's a smoothing primer um if you're using like a hydrating primer under this I wouldn't recommend it if you're like oily maybe if you're dry maybe it'll be fine but I have oily normal oily skin and the best primer for me to use with this was the gripping primer again from Milk Makeup so when I was using the Milk Makeup primer I really actually liked the way this looked on my skin it doesn't look heavy I think it looks nice it doesn't look super matte on my skin either I think it just looks pretty good do I love it I don't think so I think it does a good job to as foundation but I'm, I'm not like in love with it or anything. So I think I have foundations that look good on my skin that make my skin look nice for everyday use that are more affordable. Like the Koki foundation I really like. And then even the Beauty Creations has a uh, pretty good coverage. The Flawless Stay foundation. Also ColourPop Pretty Fresh is really good. Those three are affordable and I feel like they do a pretty good job compared to this. So I think it's pretty comparable to those foundations. For mascara this week, I used the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. I like the the formula on this, but the wand's not my favorite. I just feel like there's too much product on the wand. So I did use this wand one day and put it in here to apply it. This one's starting to dry up, so I'm just keeping it in here. I really like this, and I like the wand as well. So I'm going to keep this one in and take this one out. P. Louise Base does a super good job as an eyeshadow primer. Um, liners this week, I had these. So, um, the LA Girl in Lemon Light. This is like, I think it's waterproof because it doesn't come off when you just rub it off. I have to use like actual makeup remover. Uh, Full Spectrum by Makeup Geek. It's just a brown liner and then this, uh, brush applicator by ColourPop's really nice as well as just the black. Um, also, I didn't use this. The Pixie Glitter in Sunray, so we'll leave that in. And then this one I did use in my 20 and 2020 Rolling Project Pan. This is the lippy I was wearing. This is the L'Oreal. It's one of those signature lip stains, I believe is what they're called. Um, this is in the shade I don't. So this is just like a red orange color. It's really pretty. Next up, I did use my corrector with um by Becca, the under eye brightening corrector. Um, I've had major pan on this. I kind of think I'm gonna put this in a future project pan soon. So I do like it. I think it does a good job to brighten the under eyes and kind of conceal the dark circles or prep the under eyes for concealer. Um, I do enjoy this and this again I really enjoyed for this week. Um, it I think it's a really good primer 
for summertime for me because I feel like it's a little drying um, any other time of the year. But this worked really well with that Born This Way foundation and it did help stay matte and keep the foundation on my skin so I did like that. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer. Um, I did find that this was kind of like a little hydrating um, paired with this. Um, yeah, I think this will be good for like fall, winter time. Uh, the concealer is this Julep Cushion Complexion 501 Skin Perfector. Uh, I have mine in the shade Nude. I, I don't know if I like this. Um, I feel like it does go pretty quickly. So I could probably finish this off soon if I used it consistently. I don't think it's full coverage, to be honest. Not for me, anyways. And the darkness that I do have on my under eyes. But it is a nice concealer. I don't think it looks, like, heavy or anything on, on the under eyes. These are Project Pants, except for this. I really love this powder by Too Faced, the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I think it makes your skin look really nice and smooth and really pretty. This is one of my favorite powders that I have in my collection. So I thought it would pair super well with this, but even though this is like such a great powder, like the primer definitely is a huge impact on the foundation. So um, yeah, the gripping primer just works super well with the Too Faced matte one. Down here I have more products. This is the... The Escape Pod by Kaleidos. This is a really beautiful palette, to be honest. I didn't use any of the bright shades in here. I only really use these shades and then these two and the purple one as well. Um, I think it's super nice. These shimmers are beautiful. Let me do some swatches here. I do have like a review of first impressions up on my channel if you guys are interested. But these shimmers are super pretty. Look at that. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't into color this week. And... Yeah, so I'm just going to put this away. I really like uh, the Kaleidos formula, so I would definitely recommend their stuff. If you guys are eyeing, I really like their eyeshadow palettes. And then this Uma Beauty, uh, the Carnival palette, is actually super nice as well. I did use most, uh, I think all of the mattes and these three shimmers as well. I had a lot of color this week, and I'm really impressed with this formula. I think this is the only, yeah, only Uma Beauty palette I have. And I'm intrigued. Like, I'd definitely try more of their stuff. I did like their matte formula. The shimmers are really nice as well. I really enjoyed this palette. So, definitely would try out more <laughs> from this brand. I'm trying to grab my sheets here. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I was actually surprised how, how much I actually liked the palette. When I the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. I used a few times. I don't think I got like my usage worth, worth for the week. So I think I'm going to leave this in another week. I was really working on this one uh, this week just because I had a lot of color. So I wanted to use more of like a natural blush. This is by Becca in the shade Wild Honey. And as you can see, it's like a perfect everyday kind of blush shade. So... Definitely like that, super pigmented, and it's really a perfect color for every day. And then for highlight this week, I used the Kylie Cosmetics Wet Set. Um, this is kind of like a cushiony highlight palette. I really like it. I think it's nice. It's very pigmented as well and pretty blinding. I would definitely recommend it. I got this palette when she had like 50% off once, so I'm happy I have this, and I got it for half off. Um, I think that is all. We are ready to go ahead and shop my stash. So I'm just going to shop my stash over here. I was looking through the Sephora app and I saw that they had the Cover FX Powerplay Foundation on sale. And I was like, I haven't used that in a few. So I wanted to definitely get some use out of this. I have the shade G plus 40. So this will be my foundation for this week. And then for setting spray, uh, I think... I'm going to focus on my Joa Beauty Selfie Ready Setting Spray. I just rolled this in in my shop, my or project pan. So I want to get some use out of this, kind of kickstart wherever I left off. I kind of marked it right here, but I may have less than that. But I do want to use this as well. So we're going to go in my first drawer. So I was cleaning the other side. I have my new makeup drawer, which I kind of looked in there and I was like, I'm not feeling anything from in here. I'm just going to shop my stash this week and just use products I have in my collection. Um, and I found like five or six mini mascaras. And I did a, a makeup inventory and I was like, oh, I only have like six mascaras in my collection. 
uh, no, I just found minis. So at least that's good. I, I don't have to buy any more after I finish my full sizes. But yeah, my inventory is a little off because I was going through all the drawers and I found a whole bunch of mini stuff. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm going to use this one this week. Um, the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. Technically, I'm only really working on three mascaras. This one, the Lash Freak, and then the Essence one. Um, I could probably open up a couple of the mini, so maybe I'll throw them in here for next week. For eyebrows, I want to focus on my Winky Lux. I think this is the one I'm going to be using all the time, just so I can finish it, because there's not that much product left in here. This should definitely be done by my next update. So I'm going to take this and then I'm also going to take like a thin one just to line my brows. And I'm going to take the Maybelline one. The Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. And this is in black brown. And then for concealer, maybe let's take this one. I haven't used it in a few. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. I have the shade Light Warm. Primer drawer. Let's see here. What should I take? I have a lot of hydrating primers. I need some like this one's new I just put it over here and I think I'm just gonna put it like in a giveaway or something because I haven't pumped it you can tell it's not even pumped but I have a lot of hydrating primers I'll take this for my pores the MAC prep and prime skin refined zone this one should be good and then I'm going to take this one as well, the SOS Primer. It's a it's a blurring primer um, by Clarence. This is in my powder drawer. <laughs> and let's... I really like these powders, these Besame powders. Let's go ahead and take this one by uh, Besame. <laughs> This is a brightening vanilla powder in translucent. There's not that much product in here. There's like a, it's a really small container, but it smells delicious. I'm gonna take this bronzer drawer. I'm gonna take this NARS one. This is the, I don't know. It's just in Paloma, that's the shade, I guess. Um, there's a bronzer, and I think this is like an under eye, maybe brightening powder. So I'm going to take that. For blush, I'm going to take this Alamar palette. This is the Coloretta Blush Trio in Fair Light. I really like it. It's pretty pigmented, so it's like the last of summerish to me. So I want to get more use out of this. And maybe we can pick like a nude color as well. What about the book someone did it? I, know, I think I might have picked that not too long ago. Let's take the Bare Minerals Gen Nude in Let's Go Nude. This will be good for everyday use. Oh, and then I also actually have my uh, Natasha Denona Bloom palette as well. So, yeah, we'll take, I guess we'll have two face palettes. And then for highlighter... I want to take this Natasha Denona Glow Powder in the All Over Glow Powder in Light. This is a really pretty formula. It's really nice. So I want to take that. And then let's also take maybe this Persona Cosmetics Highlighter in Zuma. This is really buttery and pigmented too. That is pretty. That'll be it. Liner for the week. Let's take... M Cosmetics. Salt tip liner. And then... Let's take the yellow from LA Girl. The Neon Wave liners in Screaming. And... Ardency in 
in hot pink. So the new Natasha Denona Glam palette came out and I kind of wanted it and then I saw a few videos of people saying hey it's pretty much like a dupe to the Sultry palette by ABH and I was like oh yeah maybe I should pull that out this week. <laughs> so I'm going to take the Sultry palette by ABH. Here's what it looks like. Uh, I'm not a big fan of ABH matte formula but these shimmers in here are super pretty. Um, I, like, I like this color. It's like a silver gray. And this one too, super pretty. So we're going to take some nudes. And then I think I want to also take some color as well. Should I take this? This is a warm. Let's keep looking. You know what? Maybe I'll take my subculture palette as well. Because this has some color, but it also is like more like grungy. So we'll take this as well. So I'm holding my tripod because I don't want to pull down <laughs> the legs. I'm going to take this Dose of Colors uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Extra Saucy. And then I'm also going to take maybe one of like a gloss or something that I could probably try to wear to work. Maybe. Um... Maybe this one in Fenty Beauty in Fussy. So those are all the products I'm taking in this week's Shop My Stash. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!